watching This Week in Fish and Wildlife, sponsored by Bozeman-based Sims Fishing Products, the industry leader in fishing apparel. Thursday morning, time once again for This Week in Fish and Wildlife. Once again, we're outside Region 3 headquarters with Morgan Jacobson. Uh, we're in the heart of the hunting season, but we're mm -hmm. going to shift gears just a little bit and talk fisheries, yeah. specifically in the Centennial. has got a little project going out there. Tell me about it. We do, Chet. So uh, Long Creek is uh, a tributary uh, to uh, the Red Rock Lakes in that area um, and uh, is, is potential habitat for Arctic grayling. Mm -hmm. um, Arctic grayling is a species of concern that we have um, that uh, we're trying to boost numbers of in, in Montana. There are native species to that part of the state. And so, uh, you know, we're, we're looking for habitat projects uh, everywhere to be able to accomplish that. Uh, Long Creek is one example in the Centennial Valley uh, where um, we're working with uh, other agencies um, and uh, as well as local contractors to uh, enhance and expand uh, habitat for Arctic grayling uh, in the Centennial Valley. This is one of those projects I think a lot of people just kind of take for granted. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty reflective of a lot of the work that Fish, Wildlife and Parks is doing uh, for lots of species, but in this case the Arctic grayling. The work is ongoing all the time. It mm -hmm. isn't just during fishing season. It isn't just in when the weather's pleasant to be out there. It goes <laughs> on year round. It does, yeah. And, and you know, this is, uh, um, you know, this is another project that uh, you know, really is is happening in a quiet part of the state, and and you know one that you know people may not see quite often. But really, it's it's in the heart of uh, of Arctic grayling recovery uh, habitat. Uh, you know, one of the the um, impacts that we saw this year was drought, obviously. Um, and so, you know, really this this project aims uh, to improve habitat for Arctic grayling, but also to increase water storage there in that watershed. Uh, and so what we're doing is, is uh, we're rerouting uh, a channel of Long Creek um, to expand uh, that, that the capacity of, uh, the water capacity of that, that creek, as well as expand habitat for grayling. So really it accomplishes uh, those, those two things. One is to, you know, increase cold, clean water habitat for grayling, as well as water storage, so that when we have years like this year, uh, where water is in short supply, um, you know, there's, there's greater uh, habitat and opportunity there. Uh, this is one of those interesting projects too. The uh, ultimate outcome of this is going to be maybe years and mm -hmm. years down the road, but if yeah. it doesn't happen now, the outcome is far less positive. That's right. You know, these, these projects have, uh, you know, oftentimes long-term uh, uh, progress uh, to them, and so uh, you know we will, we'll be watching uh, Long Creek as as uh, you know time goes by to see um, see how that goes. You know another thing about this project is uh, we're we're letting the water do the you know the fun, the finishing touches of uh, of this project. So you know our our objective is to um, you know help that water uh, into that new channel, uh, and then as spring runoff comes, we'll let it do kind of the finer you know, finer uh, finishing touches on that project to, you know, kind of, uh, you know, help it be shaped naturally. So, uh, you know, right now it looks kind of rough, um, but, you know, as, as time goes by, uh, we're hoping to see cold, clean water uh, with gravel and things like that that make great spawning habitat for trout and Arctic grayling. There we go again. Uh, Fish, Wildlife and Parks are giving the Arctic grayling and uh, uh, section of the uh, Centennials a little boost uh, and Mother Nature is going to take care of the rest of it. That's right. That's, right. that's our hope. <laughs> Perfect. Again, Morgan, thank you very much. You bet. And that's This Week in Fish and Wildlife. You've been watching This Week in Fish and Wildlife, sponsored by Bozeman-based Sims Fishing Products, the industry leader in fishing apparel.